Okay, everybody. I have a Shampoo Backup Pro uh, 15 opened up here, and it is updated a little bit since version 14. Okay, we'll kind of go over the menus a little bit. We have our overview, backup plans, restore, view backup, reports, check disk, rescue system, and our settings, which settings you can also find your automatic pausing right here, as well as a shampoo services. Okay. So first thing we want to do is actually show you how to create your first backup plan. And for this one, we're going to show you the operating system one first that I use. And of course, it's up to you how you want to use these, but I'm going to show you two ways to set these up. Okay. Now you already noticed I have two backup plans I have myself because yes, I do actually use this software. I use this software quite often. As you can see, in making the, this video, it was used today. Okay. And of course, my main disk operating system backup was done 10 days ago because I only do that one a couple of times a month. Okay. So let's show you how to create your plan. And first I'm going to show you the operating system one first. Okay. When we go in here, it's going to say select backup storage type. And you have quite a few options here. You can use local drive, which is what I'm going to use. But you can also use Dropbox, Google Drive, OneDrive, and a few others that I'm not fully aware of. For this uh, demo and on tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use a local drive because I do have a Western Digital red six terabyte drive in my system that i use for local backups okay let's click next then we want to choose our backup drive of course like i said i have a six terabyte one here and i'm gonna choose z which is my backup drive okay click next and we're gonna choose our name on time this one's the os tutorial just tut for short of course, if you want to import some other plans, you have the import option too. But since this is going to create one, just choose the name right there and then click next. Okay. It's going to ask you if you want to create shortcuts. You can if you want to. I am not going to for this tutorial because I want to show you the, you know, the best way to do this and give you the most information at the same time. So click next. Okay. Now here's what we want to do. You have two options right here and these are very important you choose entire drive which is essential if you want to uh, back up your operating system this is the one you need to choose if you just want to back up your you know folders and stuff like your my documents folder pictures and your music stuff and all that say a couple of times a week this is the only one you need now the entire drives will be slower individual files and folders can be much faster so, but since this is operating system backup and you cannot back up the operating system using the individual files and folders, we need to choose entire drives, then click next. Okay. Now it says you want to select your source drives and see right here, we got them all right here. Let's go select none, but I'm going to choose my C drive and you want to find the one that says recovery and choose that one too and click next okay now here's options for you if you want to encrypt your backup or do not encrypt i'm gonna choose do not encrypt because you know i don't have anything secure on here that i need secured and also encrypting will be slower click next and you can click compress backups less best needed faster backup it says do not compress backups more compatible i'm gonna choose do not compress just for compatibility reasons it's totally up to you, but I also find this honestly kind of faster. But anyway, so let's click next again. And here we have our options right here. You can back up to store up to 28. I recommend infinite incremental backups. It's smaller and faster, which would be really nice. Now it's going to make one uh, main backup to start with. Then what it's going to do is just going to change and update the files within that backup every time you do a backup after that, which makes it much faster. For example, operating system back could take anywhere from say, you know, 15 minutes up to almost two hours, depending on how much you got on your operating system, how many files are installed, obviously. But after that, it only takes like a few minutes to update each time using incremental backups. I recommend smaller, fast one right here. And let's click next. 
Okay. Now you have the option. Uh, now, for me personally, I don't use automatic backups on the operating system. I kind of do it a couple of times a month only when I'm really updating stuff because if I'm not installing a whole bunch of uh, programs and stuff, I really just want it to update just enough in case Windows updates crashes. So <laughs> that's the main reason I use this one. So I want to choose do not, no automatic backups. However, if you want to do backly or weekly, you can schedule them right here. And you can even schedule them yet yeah, multiple times. You can add in multiple entries every day at 1300. You can add another one daily or day of the week or month, just any time you want to. But for this one, since just no automatic backups, it's just there in case I said Windows updates wrecks your op my operating system install. That's the reason I keep this one used. Then click next. And you have the option here to make backup at next opportunity. You may not want to, or you can just click skip the missed backups, click that one, and then you can just automatically start up whenever you get uh, everything set up in a shampoo. So that way it won't automatically start on its own. Then you click next, and you have the option to automatically shut down the computer after backup. Uh, I keep this one turned off because I may want to run this one during the day, and I don't like coming back and having Windows trying to shut everything down when I might have other programs open. So I recommend keeping that one turned off, but in case you may want to run automatic backups at night and have your computer automatically shut off. So when you come in the next morning, Hey, the options right there and click next. Then you go to option here to automatic verification systems. You can have it just create the backup or verify automatically. The program verifies and repairs backed up data each time. Just kind of verifies that the uh, backup is good. So I recommend leaving that one on. Click next. Backup reports. You can keep how many you want to keep. Default is 27. And you can even have this automatically send you email updates and stuff. I'm not going to do that, but the option's there. Then once you get all that done, it can tell you on your summary of everything. And all you got to do is click finished for it to run the backup. And of course, I'm going to go ahead and click finished on this one just to show you. Windows a page you asking. You can ask, start to back up now, create rescue system, or back to main menu. Let's go back to main menu. I'll show you a rescue system here just shortly. Okay. So now I have this backup right here. And as it says, it has not done anything yet. And of course, you can see my other two backups here. It shows that they are successful. Nothing went wrong with those. Okay. Now let's show you the one for the files, which I recommend for your my, my documents, folders, and stuff, because this one's so much quicker. All right, as before, local drive or network drive. Click next, where I want to store it. My backup drive, obviously. Click next on that one. Like I said, we're creating another one. Let's just do files. Anyways, tutorial. There we go. Files tut for short. Click next. And of course, I'm not going to do those because they're shortcuts and just click none of the above. Now this is worth is much faster. I recommend this one for your files and stuff. Cause I run this one daily. Just come in every day and automatically helps to everything update. So it's good to go. Click next and more accessible. Choose that one. So this would be really nice if I want to, for example, if I just accidentally delete something. I'm like, oh no, I deleted something yesterday or something other. I can go in and pull that file directly out using the Windows Explorer. Don't have to even use the software, so I recommend more accessible. Click next. And what uh would you like to back up? Here's where you can choose multiple things. So options right here, you got your my documents, folders, music, videos, your downloads. You can choose all those. You can choose email option stuff, files by types, or even this one I'm out here in your ma manual files. You can go ahead and add folders so you can browse where you want the files and stuff. Like I would have my video editing stuff here. I can choose all those, which ones I want, or I can just go up one and choose video editing. So I have all my working files and stuff. Select that folder. Now this is also recommended if you're using any kind of RAID like I am for D here is actually a set of SSDs ready together. And this is the only one that worked using the full drive backups will not work on ready drives. 
So keep that in mind. So you can add that one, go OK. And also go back here as, ah, let's add my documents, folders, music. God, I have a music. And of course, in videos and downloads, add those also. So that way, click next. And go, do not compress the data. Do not encrypt the data. Of course, there are options there if you do want encrypted. I, like I said, I'm the only one on this computer. Somebody gets the computer. Uh, I've lost all my data anyway. So, daily backups, you can choose what time, weekly, same as before. Like I said, I run daily backups on mine. Of course, I run mine at, at 1400, which would be 2 p.m. Because it does use military time. And click next. You get the option to make next uh, backup opportunity or skip miss backups. It's up to you. So I recommend on this one to make backup at next opportunity. That way, if the scheduled backups are missed, for example, uh, if you set your uh, backups to start, say, like 9 o'clock in the morning, and you happen to come into work at 10 o'clock in the morning, well, if you have it set to miss skip backups, it will not automatically start for that day. However, if you get it on make backup at next opportunity, so if you log in, uh, put the computer on after it was scheduled to run, it will automatically wait a few minutes, then start running and back it up, which is what I actually do because I, I have to work in the evenings. So when I come in, the computer's already scheduled to start at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. However, if I get on the computer at 5 p.m. in the afternoon, then it starts running a few minutes after I start. And but it's just the files backups. It only takes about 30 seconds to maybe at most two minutes. So we'll click next. Then automatically shut down. Uh, no, I'm not going to do that one for files. I don't recommend turning that one on. Unless you actually have a backup system. You do want it to turn off at night. It's up to you. Click next. Then we've got reports. Just normal. I, don't want, I just want to know summaries and errors. If anything went wrong. And of course, automatically send those reports to me via email. And I want to keep versions at least 30 days old. That way, I can, if I delete something uh, last week, I realize, oh man, I need that file. Then I can, I'll go back and get that folder or file off the my backup drive. Really, really nice. And of course, your summary. Click finish. Click the Windows prompt there. And you have the option to start backup now. Or back to main menu. Let's go back to main menu. As you can see, both of those are not you know, are not started up yet. So this is backup not yet done. Okay, everybody. Now I want to show you how to create your rescue system. Now you'll find that little life preserver icon right here. Rescue system. Let's click on it. Now you can either use a USB stick or CD DVD. Okay. So you want to find yours in the drive right here. Mine is the SDRW right here. Not this one. <laughs> it's this one down here. You need to find yours. But if you're using a USB stick, you can use that as well. And let's click next. Okay. And it will prompt you, let you know the CD or DVD in the drive will be overwritten. Do you want to continue? Yes, I do. Okay. And of course, a shampoo will prompt you. And it's pretty easy. Now, if you get any kind of pop-ups or anything right here requiring any kind of downloads from the internet, that is common in case you don't have you know, certain files installed on your operating system. For example, like C++ runtime files or something. So if it prompts you to download stuff from Microsoft, go ahead and let it run that and download those files as they're needing to actually run the software. Now, creating this rescue system is normally fairly quick. So it only take a, maybe a few minutes to actually burn the disk and create it all together. So let this uh, run through right quick and we'll pick back up at the end. So yeah, that took about less than two minutes right there. Fairly quick. And the creating the disc is successful. Now that's really important because that disc, I could boot off it. Of course, if you used a thumb drive, it'd be just the same. You can boot off your thumb drive or the uh, disc you created, which is really great because it lets you boot up the operating system and go into a shampoo and restore your Windows files, if they got deleted due to ransomware or virus or just a crash disk. So you can completely restore all your operating system and files and everything. And you won't have to worry about losing anything. Okay, everyone. So, A Shampoo Backup Pro 15. Do I recommend it? Short answer is yes. I found it to be one of the most reliable and easiest to use backup solutions for the Windows platform. So if you're interested in this software, you want to start the free trial, 
check the link down in the description below. And if you like this video, how about give me a thumbs up? Thumbs up's always highly appreciated. If you're not a subscriber to my channel, please take time to subscribe. Subscribing's free, it's for you, and lets you know I release more videos. Until next time, everyone, thank you for watching.